and welcome to a short tips and trick video um, over the past few years on YouTube I got a lot of inquiries on what's the best black light to buy um, for spotting color touch and my reply has always been I'm not a big fan of black lights I have a couple and I find them to be okay um, I said that a, a loop a good loop is more useful and here is one of my many I bought I probably had three or four of these this one has a light so it's useful but my best recommendation is get yourself something like this a Celestron handheld digital microscope I purchased two other products and returned them because I find that whatever they claim as far as the magnification and the digital software was not good enough it was almost useless it was more useful to go to back to that loop but when I bought this I think three years ago I was extremely impressed and here it is it takes 30 seconds to assemble this okay basically uh, you have the camera this is the microscope camera that you can take out and use it instead of like using the stand and then the stand is basically three pieces you have this piece you have this little screw here to connect it to the base and that's it take 30 seconds if you um, have a Mac like me or a PC that does not have a CD drive or DVD drive you need to go to the company's website celestron.com to download the driver that's what i did okay because it comes with the the cd driver in here but i can't recall when's the last time i have a computer with a cd drive so let me show you how this works okay okay so here is what the software looks like when i load i open it in on my Mac okay and the microscope the beauty about this microscope is there is no battery uh, there's a light on the microscope and it automatically turn on when you plug the microscope into the Mac or your PC so this is what's gonna happen let me go and connect the microscope into the piece into my uh, Mac and see what it will look like okay. okay so here it is uh, you notice that little piece of uh, lint on top edge of the screen unfortunately uh, something got into onto the the lens and I just can't seem to get that out uh, I have tried to use a hair dryer to blow into it and but it seemed to just move around but at least now it's on the edge instead of like in the middle of the screen so this is what the screen look like okay and that the little scale that they give you um, to see what kind of magnification you have and what I will do is um, I'm just gonna grab a book and put it under the microscope for you to uh, see uh, I need to find a restore book um, I know I have a couple at least four uh, silver age book or bronze age books that have a uh, color touch in it and I put it somewhere in my never again to see boxes and I can't seem to remember where so if I can locate them I will dig them out and put them under the microscope for you but here is a silver age books notice the cross pattern uh, I'm not sure what you call it I call it the dot matrix okay you see the cross pattern is more visible in the non black area but that's the key okay when you have acrylic ink or any kind of other ink cover up a crease it will cover up the matrix and that's how you can spot color touch um, if it was you know of course if the the person use uh, watercolor or something that bled through sure you can spot it by just opening the cover and see the bled through but if they use other kind of ink that does not bleed through most likely that ink will go over the surface of the cover and then cover up the pattern all right as well as 
look a little shinier than the the other area or just look off you know it, it's hard to describe it until I can show you an example but here is just a you know uh, low grade silver age books with a lot of cracks and crease and ding and stain and other things that's not color touch okay um, as you can see if you look close enough the the dot matrix in that area is not cover up um, I can't stress enough that the best way to learn how to spot color touch is to use a book that had color touch put that under the microscope and see for yourself what it does or how it look under the microscope once you do that a few times on a few different books you can easily spot other color touches by just the way they appear under the microscope that's it that's my um, tips i i hope uh, for those that buy this product uh, or consider or are looking for a product that help them find restoration as far as color touch this is my recommendation something like this you don't have to buy this particular product you know i'm sure if you go on youtube and look um, there are many other microscopes but for me for 80 bucks or less this is the one that's it for this tips and trick thanks for watching bye bye